Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie and this channel is chronicling my journey to get my life back after having been diagnosed with preload failure and awaiting other diagnoses as well. Today I just wanted to share some of the technology that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to help manage my illnesses and how I use them. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this is an EKG halter monitor. Um, I was using this when I slept basically to get my heart rate when I was sleeping. It also gives you your heart rate variability and a lot of different metrics and as well as any abnormal heart rhythms like if you had AFib or SVT, stuff like that. Um, normally I didn't, or if I did, it was only like once or twice, so it wasn't a big deal. But really I wanted something more accurate than something I was wearing on my wrist to give me my heart rate when I'm sleeping, my average heart rate when I'm sleeping. Because that, for me at least, lets me know a lot about how my body is functioning. I know when I am feeling better, my heart rate when I'm sleeping is in the low to mid 60s and if I have overdone it with exercise, if I've eaten a lot of carbs or sodium close to bed or even throughout the day my heart rate will be elevated when I'm sleeping. Um, sometimes it's all the way up to 81 as a resting heart rate when I'm sleeping as an average um, and it's just interesting to see where that is and it really does tell me a lot about how my body's functioning and how much I should be pushing it um, after a period of sleep whether it be overnight or a nap. So I was wearing this every time I slept. Then that got annoying because you have to then take this and this plugs in and it has like a charger and it goes to my laptop. Now I'm normally at my PC, but my PC is old. It's like 10 or so years old. So the operating system is too old to work. So my laptop is newer. It's like five or six years old. So I can plug it in and it will work on my laptop. So then I have to get my laptop out and it was just annoying. So I wanted something that would give me my resting heart rate while I was sleeping. I looked at all kind of smartwatches. Um, a lot of them I looked at, like they didn't have, some of them didn't t um, track naps at all, which wasn't gonna work for me because I nap at least once every day. So what I ended up deciding on was a whoop band. Um, I will say this is definitely not made for people with chronic illness. It is definitely made for athletes. Um, maybe someday I will be able to work out to a more higher degree, but it serves the purpose that I need. It will track my naps automatically. Uh, it gives me my resting heart rate. What I don't like is it does not give me my average heart rate like during a nap, which I find annoying, but it does give me like a daily heart rate graph that I can look at so I can see where my heart rate is in relation to what my heart rate is doing when I'm just sitting around at the computer and I know if my heart rate is sitting at the computer which again is normally in the mid 60s low 60s in the 60s I know if my sleeping heart rate is higher than that my body is working harder to recover while I am sleeping so even if I don't get my resting heart rate which I only get from the whoop overnight I can still look at the graph just to get a gauge on what my body is doing while I'm sleeping. And I can scroll along the graph as well to get a more precise number, just not averages. Um, I can track my activities with this. It's not very accurate a lot of times for activity. I'm getting a new band um, when I get back from Ohio, so maybe that will help with that. But I do wear a Polar H10 chest strap heart rate monitor during activities to get my heart rate when I'm active. Um, but another thing about the WHOOP, when you calculate stuff during activity or even just during the day, it calculates a strain. 
and then it calculates a recovery score as well. And the recovery score is, um, I can't think of the word right now, but it, oh, individualized. It is individualized for you. So it takes into account like what your average heart rate is, your average heart rate variability, how much sleep you get, how well your sleep is, and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty accurate. Um, like yesterday it said my recovery was 25%, I think, and I basically slept all day. Um, today it's saying 54%, and I'm feeling pretty good, but I, I know I'm not going to make it all day without a nap. So, it's not the greatest because since the heart rate isn't always accurate, um, the strain isn't accurate, and so then the recovery is not going to be accurate. Unfortunately, it does not pair to an external heart rate monitor, so it does not pair to my Polar H10 monitor. So, hopefully when I get the bicep band, it can be more accurate because I know... Sometimes the strain is just very inaccurate because it's not accurate in what my heart rate is during activity. Anyway, um, enough about the whoop. The third thing that I use not as much as I should is the Apollo Neuro. So I've had this for maybe a year and a half, maybe two years at this point. It is something that you wear and it vibrates to different frequencies and intensities depending on how you program it. So I normally use it for sleep. It comes with two different bands. Right now this is for the wrist, which I don't like wearing it on the wrist. I normally wear it on the ankle. But since I have on tense, it's not, I can't feel it as well on my ankle at the moment. So I've been wearing it on my wrist for sleep. There is one also for waking up, there is one for being open and social, there is one for wanting to be focused, there is one for wanting to be calm, there is one for like relaxation, which I will often use before bed while I am meditating and reading. You can schedule what you want at a certain time, so I can schedule the relaxation one for say 9 p.m. for 30 minutes and that can be while I am meditating and reading and then I can schedule the sleep one to come on at 10 or 10 30 for I normally put it for two hours and it will then come on two different buttons this can control how um, intense it is if you want to feel the vibration more or less you can control that from the device as well as your phone I don't sleep with my phone near me, so I use the device. And you can also turn on the last program you had from the device. So when I go to sleep, if I wake up at say 2, 2 a.m. and I want to go back to sleep, I can press the buttons and it will automatically turn back on the last program. And for me, that will be the sleep one and it will be for two hours, which is the amount of time I had it on last. Another program I was using often other than the relaxation and the sleep was the wake up. The wake up I have to have at a very low intensity because it makes me feel anxious. Like it just makes my heart rate go up and without any good reason I guess my body just thinks I need to do something so I had to turn the intensity down. It does not help with like my sudden nap attacks. I could definitely go to sleep wearing this on the wake up function, but it does help just to sort of get your day started if you wake up with an alarm and you're kind of dragging it. At least for me, it does help me wake up. If you have issues where you're very sleepy during the day, I'm not sure it will help you get through that. I have used the open and social setting a couple times and it seems to help me not to be as introverted for lack of a better term. It helps me engage more in conversation. Um, yeah, so those are three devices that I currently use. Again, I don't use the EKG monitor as much anymore. It is basically my Whoop and my Apollo Neuro on a day-to-day -day basis. I know a lot of people have a device that will 
um, vibrate or alarm if your heart rate goes over a certain threshold to help them pace. I've considered that. I do think I have something that will do that, but my heart rate going up the stairs can sometimes get over like 100 or over 120, so it's really not going to help me that much if it's always going off. So that wasn't as important to me. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. You guys will be seeing this when I'm in Ohio. It will be scheduled to go up then. So I hope this is helpful to someone. I know most people probably would prefer a smartwatch over the Whoop when that's totally understandable. But the Apollo Neuro is something I see, a, not a lot, but I see posted in forums and whatnot on Facebook or Reddit asking if anyone has used it. So I did want to mention that I have used it and I do find it somewhat helpful at the very least. I normally don't use it throughout the day like you're supposed to. So I can't speak too much to the other functions, but wake up, relaxation, meditation, and sleep, I definitely can speak to and I do think it helps. So that is going to be it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.